Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the most delayed show of the 21st century. I'm your host, Almighty Dagon, and I've been off the YouTubes for about a year now. A year and a half or so, I think. Meh. And I gotta tell you guys that uh, a lot has happened since I've been gone. Let's see. I've completed my edification. Yeah, got a master's degree. I've stepped up my fitness game. Yeah, that's right. Put on about 20 pounds out of Moscow. And a side dish of the fatty fat fat. Mm, let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm paying something called rent now. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't wrapped my head around that one, but uh, it's crazy. <laughs> I may just save those topics, though, for another video. Wow, I just realized that this is my first Call of Duty Ghosts gameplay video. <gasps> Wow, I'm a slacker. How are you guys still here? Seriously, don't <laughs> subscribe already. No, no, seriously don't. I've got about 10 days worth of gameplay and gameplays for days. And this video is actually one of my first few chems. I've actually put this video up to show you how cautiously I used to play to get chems. In fact, some of you might say I was a city macamper. Here, and if you think that, <laughs> shut up, I don't want to talk about it, okay? But since you requested another installment of the Slayer Mindset series, here it is. This one is titled, Sightline Awareness. What are those? Dagon, tell us, please. Great question. Sightlines are just parts of the map where you uh, have a high likelihood of becoming dead. Because some summer monkey happened to be sitting up or down range from you in a little camper's nest. You see me avoid such a scenario at around the 24 second mark of this video. I took a left and decided to do a double take by strafing to my right and turning on that poor fella. Now, that is a little riskier because if you're on a nice kill streak, you risk losing your role. So, alternatively, you can just avoid those sidelines. At the two minute mark, I believe it is, you see the hostiles decided to confiscate the A flag. Notice that my buddy Jay decided to take a more uh, direct approach. And uh, he got a little uh, bullet peppered as a result. But that's not the only scenarios that you can actually use these sight lines to your advantage. Sometimes you may also find yourself being chased by a knifer who'd rather risk death than shoot you. I know someone watching this video is such a knifer. In those scenarios I find it useful to find the nearest corner and just check my back as a precaution. And just drop down, get ready for whoever is about to clear that corner. This beats turning around on the spot because the bad guys will shoot you if they think you're going to kill them. I'm sure most of you are aware of these major sightlines within a few weeks of the game coming out. But with the DLCs being released every few months, I find it useful to look up tutorial videos to be, you know, ahead of the game. My personal favorite is T. Martin's channel. Most of you are probably subscribed to him. He spends hours and hours running around highlighting parts of the map and... I save myself a lot of time, rage, and broken controllers by watching them. So, uh, yeah, that's it. It's a really simple concept. I don't think I really needed to make this video about it. But I did want to highlight it and wanted an excuse to sound smart. So, yeah. In the next video, I'll be talking about optimizing your class setup and how those online updates can play a huge role in your ability to slay with a previously created class setup. This video will be up on Tuesday. Yes, that's next Tuesday, not next year. I've actually invested quite a bit of money on uh, stepping up my YouTube game since Christmas, but I've been traveling around Canada uh, with this national dance competition of all things for the past few months that has kept me busy. It's almost over though, so I think I'll be starting live streams on weekends during the summer. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, dudes and dudettes. I've been Dagon, and you have not. And I'm out! Peace. Okay, maybe I'm not out. This video is long. Mm, nah, let's do a play-by-play. -play. Yeah, we're, we're doing it. We're going for it. Oh, what's he doing here? He's just sitting down. He's waiting for something to come around the corner. He hears another prey item, so he's going to wait. Pals, He gets him, ladies and gentlemen. He pulls out a gun that's golden from nowhere. I don't know where he got it. Why it took him so long to realize, oh snap, crackle and pop, he just got the cam strike. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. He's going around the corner, just sliding over, looking for as many people as he possibly can, kill in as little time as 
Humanly possible, ladies and gentlemen. He's got one, he's got two prey items, he's got three. Oh my god, there's four. He's got no bullets. What's he gonna do, ladies and gentlemen? He's gonna kill him anyway. That's right, that's right. Almighty take on. He doesn't give a damn. I don't know what that was, but I'm gonna stop doing it. I'm freaking myself out. Goodbye. Peace!